Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a review of the latest release from Elizabeth Arden in their white tea range. It's called Ginger Lily. So I'm going to be explaining what this smells like and how it differs to the other white tea perfumes. I did a video recently on the original and the three flankers that had come out of the back of it um, and now we have a fourth flanker as well so I'll leave the link to my old video down below and also the link to where you can buy this and the others in UK, Europe and US down below in the description as well. But if you're new here then hi, welcome, we are all about perfumes here so check out my hundreds and hundreds of other videos and if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button and show your support get involved in the comments down below so the Elizabeth Arden white tea range to me are the kind of thing that really complements like their skincare and the wider fragrances used in the brand they are all eau de toilette and they're the kind of thing that I would imagine using, you know, after a spa day or um, sort of freshen up on a holiday or just as a sort of nice daytime smell. They they have a aromatic theme to them, which um, is kind of slightly herbal, kind of like a Provence lavender fields. It's the type of smell that you get in spa products and things like that. The original white tea has tea leaves in as one of the main notes, which gives a green aromatic smell. There's also some fern, which adds that greenness. There's like a fresh, salty sea breeze, ocean breeze smell in there as well. It's very calming and relaxing. This new one called Ginger Lily does have ginger in and does have lily in, but it has other things in as well. The ginger does definitely come through, but in a very refreshing way, not in a harsh way. But what really comes through for me here is the orange, the bitter orange and the bergamot, which is in here as well. So it, it's very citrus, it's very fresh, very clean, like you've just got out of a, I don't know, like just stepped out of a swimming pool outside or something and you've got this fresh breeze. You have a bit of the tea leaf smell in it from the original and there's also a little bit of cedar wood in there as well and a slight, slight, slight muskiness but it's predominantly citrus and then secondly, so it's predominantly this citrus orangey smell with the ginger and then underneath the slight white tea, slight aromatic lily scent. It's definitely more fresher than the original white tea. I think this would be great for summertime. If you're looking for something to layer with other perfumes or something to just wear in humid weather and you don't want something that's like very fruity or very floral, you want something that's very refreshing. Ginger is so good for that because it really is that like kind of sharp but very clean fresh scent and it really works with lemons and oranges to make them really fresh. The other ones in the range that are covered in my other video, there's a mandarin orange blossom which of course is orangey, there's a wild rose one and then there's a vanilla orchid as well. So they're all quite different. I'd say this one is probably closest to the mandarin orange blossom. I think all of them would be nice layering with other similar perfumes that are perhaps you know you have a strong eau de parfum but then you top it up throughout the day with this or you mix it in the summer to make it fresher. They definitely are classy, sophisticated smells that are type of thing that, you know, a woman would have. I, I think very sort of put together and someone who perhaps is using, you know, Elizabeth Arden skincare and thinking about all that type of thing and they'd have this type of perfume to like freshen up in the morning, spray first thing in the morning after they've done their skincare to just have this really classy smell, follow them around for a few hours. So I do like them. The bottles are nice and heavy and weighty and they feel very professional. But what's really good about these is the price. They tend to be really affordable. The new one, because it's new, you're probably looking at about £40, but the older ones you can get discounted, especially original white tea, where you might be paying more like 20-something pounds. So they are very affordable perfumes. 
and it is a 100ml size so you get a decent amount for your money. So guys let me know if you are a Elizabeth Arden fan, a white tea fan, do you have any of the others in the range? Let me know what you think. Like I said I'll leave the links where you can get this down below and my video on the others in the range so check them out if you haven't already. But that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye!